What's up everybody? Back here for a little vlog again in the morning. This is the second part to the um, to the last video. The last video was five things I hated about this car. This is going to be five things I love about this car. So yeah, and I want to first off start by saying thanks everyone for watching and whoever commented. And yeah, um, I think I'm only about... 12 subscribers from 100 let's get to that 100 so yeah um let's start off this uh this uh vlog um so what i love about this car the first thing is actually i'm going to talk about is the looks at first when the fifth gen camaro came out i really did not even i mean i liked it but i didn't love it and then until they refreshed it for 2014 and they put the hood on for the SS, the heat extractor, and they did the tail lights. I actually really loved it. So, yeah, the first thing is I love the sleek look, how low profile it is. Um, yeah, it's just, I just love the looks. Uh, second thing is I talked about it in my first vlog about the exhaust how I hated the stock exhaust but the dual mode exhaust I love and especially with the fuse pulled because the dual mode exhaust when you get it it's I think above 3000 rpms the butterfly valve opens up and it becomes louder that was already nice as it was but I wanted it louder all the time because I'm need, I mean I'm rarely I mean over 3000 rpms unless I'm on it a lot so yeah, I mean, the dual mode exhaust sounds great, especially when it's open all the time, the butterfly valve. The third thing would have to be, and I think this is the most, I mean, don't want to say important, but this is a huge one, is the LS motor, and it's, it's a legend, especially, I know a lot of people do LS1 swaps, but this is LS3. Still, LS motors in general are known to be bulletproof, or you could put so much power on stock internals and whatnot on the stock block, and just, I mean, I don't know how much power you could go, but I know you could go high, like six, seven, eight hundred, easy, and don't have to stress. It'll be like a daily, daily driver. So yeah, LS motor, I love it. Um, good for modding and stay tuned for that I'm gonna do my uh, what I plan on doing to this car um, plan on doing a video on that soon so stay tuned for that don't forget to hit that subscribe button so yeah Ellis motor I love it um, makes great power all of Ellis motors make decent power from factory but they're just if you're planning on modding your car like a lot of people especially in like say 240 SX they drop Ellis motors which is crazy the fourth thing is the bang for your buck that I love so I mean it's it's basically like most American cars in general one so So yeah, sorry about that. Bang for your buck. I mean, most American V8 cars, I mean, they're cheap because, I mean, I should have put this in the hate video. If I think hate is the, the plastic interior. Although I like the infotainment center right here, but it's just, they, they skimp on the interiors, which, trust me, I don't mind. I don't need a Mercedes, nice interior. I get a car for its performance, so... But, yeah, bang for your buck. I mean, for 30, I also mentioned this in other videos, but for 30, what, 3,000 MSRP, 34,000, you get over 400 horsepower, 400 torque, and name me a car, you could get that much power for that price. Name a German car, name it any European car, what other, like, Japanese car. Oh, that's right, you can't. Or there may be a few, maybe five, six, seven cars you can name. It's just, 
bang for your buck. And that's another factor in why I chose this car was the value for what you got. I was like, yeah, yeah, I could get a little bit nicer car interior, but the power is going to be 200, 300, which I was like, nah, I think 400 would be good. 426 to be exact. So yeah, the bang for your buck, power for the money is great. Just like look at the Corvettes. That's crazy. Crazy to even think like all like, especially the ZL6. I mean, I know it's like 100,000, but I mean for 650 horsepower, that's crazy. So yeah, fifth and final thing I would have to say is the handling. And I wouldn't have thought that if, I mean, once I bought it, because it's like 3,900 pounds. And like I said in the last video, it was good for the weight, but I was like legit surprised, especially the first time I ever went on the back, a back road. I was like, oh, it may be too heavy. The tires aren't the best. They have P0s. So that's why I was like, eh, it may not be that great. But when I went, I was genuinely surprised how great it handled especially for the weight so yeah those are the five things i love comment below what you guys think or what you guys love about the fifth gen camaro um and yeah i'm sure there's a lot more but i just limited it to five so yeah hopefully you guys like the five things i hate and this one five things i love and please comment and please don't forget to subscribe not that hard just click on that button it means a lot to me and uh so you stay in tune with all the with all the videos i put out and yeah i don't know if the lighting's that that great because it's cloudy out right now and i'm gonna try my hardest to put this out within say two more days today is sunday I'm going to try to put it up by Tuesday. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks, Thank you guys for all your support. I love it. Thanks for all the, the comments actually help. I like all the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. I know I said that a thousand times. And, yeah. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy.